Hey guys, how's it going? It's going off grid again. Just showing you uh, what everybody's been asking for. They want to see what's inside the new uh, reliable 8000 watt inverter. Well, I got the cover off here and I got the cover off here. This is their outgoing model, their older uh, 8000 watt. This is their older one, just giving you a comparison between the two. They have two sets, or sorry, four sets of two uh, IGBTs for the output. They got nine transformers. These guys, they're smaller transformers, so they got nine of them. And they got two MOSFETs per transformer. And that's how this works. They have an input board, they have an output board. <coughs> I'm just letting you see everything here. They got all the control, all the smarts on this uh, piggyback board here that controls the IG, IGBTs and all that stuff. So now we're going to look at the new one. Here's the new one. This mounts it on my wall. So the, the brain box, they still have a part of the brain box on the piggy, piggyback board, but they have a lot of these chips that were mounted on the piggyback board before now they're mounted right to the board closer to uh, where they got to be uh, they got four MOSFETs per transformer now instead of two the transformers are much larger like these are three times the size approximately I don't know if you can see it in comparison like there's a finger width across and then I don't really yeah there we go like it, it's about as tall as my finger and about that wide and then we got these little guys in comparison like they're way smaller these they're about half as tall about a little over half as wide way smaller but there's nine of them this one's got four <coughs> it just everything's quite beefy in here these are the output uh, FETs. I don't know if they're FETs or IGBTs. I don't know. I'm not taking this board off. It looks like a pain. Like there is a lot of screws that got to come out for this to come apart. There's your diode bridge over there. And they have 12 MOSFETs or IGBTs. I don't know what it is for the output where this one has eight. So, but these ones are IGBTs, which are good. I like those. But, I don't know, like I said, I don't know what these are exactly. Another thing I really like, this one has a bus bar that runs all the way across for handling current. And, this one this one doesn't have any bus bars or anything. All they did with for this one was like add extra solder. Which, this one never had issues with the, like any solder blowing out on the boards or anything like that. Uh, the one that I had... The a mother the piggyback board here, these things cracked. I think this controls the switching, and when this fails or gets a spike and fails, then these will short. <coughs> so they they've changed up a lot here. Give you guys a good luck here. You got a current sensor sensor here. This is on the negative, I believe, or not negative, but um, probably the live, actually. I don't know if the red, red might be live and blue might be neutral. I don't know. But they do have a current sensor. So that is probably what uh, says, hey, you're taking too much power, cuts everything off. You got 40 amps per transformer. Remember, this is a 60 volt model or 66 volt model. I told them I wanted it to go up to uh, 70 volts uh, max, so six approximately, uh, we'll just say 65 volts times uh, 40, 80, 120, 160, 160 amps is what it's fused for at about 60, 65 volts. 60 volts, I'm about 50% charge, <coughs> so yeah, very interesting this. I really like this new design a lot. Let's see if I can give you the size of these transformers better. I 
everything looks good. I'm very happy with it. The only thing that I could see that could use improvement, and this is something you could mod yourself, is that this transformer has the shortest wire. Same with this one. Shortest wire. So this transformer is going to take the most current. This one's going to take the second most current, third most current, and least amount of current because these wires are longer. They have more resistance in them. So between this one, this one could take 20% more current than this one. That's the only thing that I see that could be improved on this inverter. I have not had any problems with it, but what I would like to see is all the wires come to the middle and then split. That would be a much better design. They did it's the exact same thing with this inverter. As you can see, this inverter only has one wire per transformer, but it's the exact same thing. This inverter, though, never had a problem with the input failing. The input never fails unless the output failed. So, yeah, it's something to uh, consider. So the input was extremely strong on this inverter. Anyways, there's the inside of the 8,000 watt, the new 8,000 watt uh, reliable inverter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.